Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. We're back to Bow, Path of the Teal Lotus tonight. Um, we It feels like we're approaching endgame, even though we're only... <laughs> nice. 69% complete. Um, I forget where we were headed last. Um, I think I was down in the burrows. I was trying to find out what constituted the eastern part of the burrows. Um, my guess would be here, right? Like, that's extremely east, or to the right, considering north is probably up, south is down, west, and then east, but, um, we gotta go over there because we're trying to find a fox, right? Um, oh, also we're trying to find, uh, uh, some talisman thing or whatever. Uh, here, yeah. Uh, go and get the Katsune Vernos and, okay, this, this is the fox we're looking for, right? Uh, we're looking for a WoW, and then we're looking for the Fox Talisman, I guess. The, the Kitsune Kifuda. Kifuda, right? Okay. Um, let's see. Let's see what we can do about that. Uh, let's take a quick peek and a poke around here, huh? Ooh, excuse me. Expect much of this will be different than what we've seen before, but maybe there's an area I have. Oops, excuse me, sir. Maybe there's an area we haven't seen yet. I guess we do now have the uh, um, wall climby bits. Oh yeah, okay. There's a there's a little thing here. I either did not, it's not able to get to, or just ignored altogether, it seems, huh? Okay, so there's the thing here, right? Which, fine, whatever, okay. Oh, there's the fast travel bit. Oh, oh because, it's because the, um, the little shrine marker on the map is covering the gap in the map to the right. Ah, uh, that's kind of annoying. Alright, so that's gonna be something. I don't know what that's gonna be necessarily. There'll be something. Let's see if we can find, perhaps, uh. Maybe one of the other bits that are up here as well. Looks like there's a thing over there as well, to the right. Oh, I see. Okay. Another thing here, which I'm not 100 sure is uh, to be required for us to hit, but we'll try it. Bonk! Oh, nice. Is there anything over here? Oh, this is just a, like a narrow past. Too, since there's a save point over here anyways, right? Okay, so this leads over to an unexplored section. Uh, which bit is this gonna be? Oh, it's the the box that we were looking for. Oh, yeah, it's a little bit of a bind. Oh, that's gonna get messy unless we help them out. I thought I was tell you if you have any use in cutting me down. Uh, yeah, actually. A hot second to get up there, huh? Well, I guess we can just do it like this, too. There. Yeah, he probably landed on his head. That was, that was my bad. Sorry. <laughs> uh, a lot of time to chat. Extremely late for a very important appointment. Yeah, I see. Our wedding ceremony. Yeah, we already know you're getting married. Uh, it's uh, blah, blah, blah. Need to retrieve the... Oh, oh no, suddenly I'm in great danger. Um, okay. Oh, do you wanna... Oh, whoa, excuse me, hello. 
okay. Press the darkness of the deaths. First, good reason. It's in the series with its own problems. Shotokuro, right, the big uh, skeleton walking around out there, right? And then the turn is tremendous stops. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Okay, yeah, this is a, this is a boss fight, isn't it? All right, let's see. <laughs> Uh, all right, well, boss fight-ish, I guess, huh? Oh, excuse me. Bonk both of those before we do the main event here, right? Ah, come here, coward. <laughs> there we go. Back here, come on. Bleh. Oh, gross. <laughs> alright, I may as well just kinda. Uh, alright, can we do something about that? Can we maybe, uh. Oh. It's hoping we could maybe. Flip a do on it or something. Oh, okay. Yep. Whoa, careful. Oh, can I do something about this? Oh, wait. oh I can dash through because I've got the, the iframes to do so, right? Using my thingamading here. Uh, not that one though. Uh, what do I like? I like the bomb, right? Oh, it's there. Oh, careful. Oh, and it's raining bombs now. Not oh, excuse me. Ah. Ow! That's. That's alright. Feel out the fight on the first go. The rest will be easy enough since we're putting out some pretty serious damage, aren't we? Okay, that's clearly phase two, and she has the whole thing of a ding there. Oh, ow! Excuse me. Alright, oh, I see. We're supposed to then use the bombs to crack open that shield, I imagine, yeah? Bonk, yep. Oh, hello. from above. Okay, first phase pretty easy, second phase requires more. Just those tracks, right? Oh. Doesn't really matter to be 
against these, huh? Solid go of things. Whoa. Okay, I guess that works. <laughs> oh. Uh, where am I? Oh, there. <laughs> oh. Oh wow, it's <laughs> it's like a half phase at the end there. It's pretty close to killing her the first couple times. Alright, is this gonna give me the last lotus seed maybe? Oh no, another charm slot. And another ink. Alright. Works too. And a lot of money. Which we've got plenty of money now. Can we yeah. Just let you out of that. <laughs> Uh, we can certainly it's safe, but we still need to find a way out of here. Uh, wedding gift, yada, yada, forgotten relic. Oh yeah, the right, the, the other thing we were looking for. Weekends under sunlight, huh? Huh? Hey, how the hell am I supposed to get you up to the surface there, buddy? Oh. <laughs> okay, I guess that's one way to do it. Oh, I see. Oh, and then this is the route all the way around. Okay, I get it. <laughs> kind of funny. It's sort of like an escort mission, but not really. I guess. Oh, oh, okay. An escort mission where we can't let him touch the spikes. I guess that tracks, yeah. That makes a lot of sense. It's gotta be careful. Careful with our movements here. There you go. Just like that. Oh, excuse me. Mindful of any secrety secrets along the way here. There. Fresh air, sunlight. There you go. No problem. Good as new. Uh, thank you enough. I have an important matter. Blah, blah, blah. Uh-huh. Okay, uh, well, let's... Sure, I'll be there in a sec. Oh, they just kind of quick-traveled us over there, huh? I was kind of hoping he would give us the talisman first. But, alright, this works too. Yeah, 
can't worry. Well, they were standing there for a while, weren't they? This is one of the one of the first things I did was the escort mission to get her over here, right? Yeah, I found him quickly. Sure did. <laughs> Didn't take my time doing all the non-critical path stuff. Nope. Oh boy. What? What do you want? Okay, I was about to say, what do you want me to do? <laughs> okay, they just get that last little zinger in there. <laughs> Where the fuck were you? <laughs> Ventured into the shadows to, to give you something cool, but uh, I kind of got a little tied up. Uh, I am actually kind of curious how all these all these characters know our character's name when clearly our character doesn't talk. Like, Bo is very silent. Silent pro tag here. And it's not like we got a name tag or anything. How the hell do they know who, who we who we are? Every one of them has been like, oh, look at this little fellow. And it's like, oh, it's Bo. Like, how, the, how do they know? All right. They should have it. Safe return. Hell yeah. Yeah. Gimme. 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 Perfect. It's just the other critical path thing we're looking for. They're just bow-shaped. Yeah, I suppose, sure. <laughs> if this is the shape of a bow, then we are truly bow. Um, hey, Gimbal, how you doing? Let's see ya. Uh, what is it here? And Ari's watchful gaze in the heart of our forest and the watchful blah 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 blah. Hooray, everybody loves a fox wedding. Um, okay, so there's spirit, divine, divine within, wisdom, love, yada 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 yada. That's cool. The gang's all here. Oh, that, right. The other, uh... The other forest spirit we beat the shit out of early. <laughs> Alright, cool. So what do we get out of that? A bunch of money. Uh, okay. A little bit of... A little bit of lore. Arch full of gratitude and joy. Thank you for reuni you reuniting us on the most special day of our lives. Your courage and selflessness will forever echo in our forests. In this new chapter together, our thoughts wander to exciting possibilities and new horizons. Perhaps you've heard of the bustling streets of Sacker City. No, I haven't been there at all. Yes, I have. We've been there several times. I've been thinking of opening a Omomori shop there. Haven where you can share our blessings. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. Overpass cross again. Till then, we have adventure, discovery, and the warmth of friendship. Oh, that's very nice. Um, use it wisely. It's more than a mere trinket. It's a symbol of the triumph of love. Aw. Okay, cool. Well, that makes sense as to why it's, uh, why it was on the critical path, right? Oh, and another little thing of a thing here. Ingenuity. Uh, as long as you use Voxfire instead of tea, if your tea kettle is empty, summon Dharma. Oh, okay, so we can pay money. We can pay money instead of tea to do the thing. Yeah. We usually have plenty of tea, honestly. Alright, well, is there anything, uh... Oh, these are cheap. We've got a lot of money, so yeah, gimme. Oh, plus we've got another slot to fill up, too, so may as well. They're empty. All sold out. Okay, let's see what we should equip, then. Um, we've got mostly, like, offensive bits. Well, and speed. Speed is good. Increases basic attack speed, attack range, and attack damage, right? That's pretty cool. Um, is there another attacky bit that we can throw on there? The best defense is a good offense, right? That's how the saying goes. Um, extra T, uh, damage done by battable objects, eh. Uh, moves the timer when aiming battable objects, eh. Uh, amount of knockback from basic attacks, so cop. And uh, move slowly while sipping tea. This is your basic attack damage while you're at one health, right? Um, heal for one health for every five enemies killed. That's not bad. Uh, your staff drops Stardust while hovering, while hovering, that damages enemies on contact. Okay. Uh, shockwaves on your mostly mallet mash impacts. Uh, increase the amount of health healed. While your kettle is boiling, okay. Um, stops time while switching Dharma, no, that's not bad. Um, 
Last health lost over time without using to. Okay. Uh, increases basic attack damage while you're at full health. Yeah, okay. Sure. I mean, if you're not getting hit, you're always at full health, so you're always doing extra damage. I, I, yeah. That's what I'm gonna go with. Okay, so then there's the whole matter of, like, this bit over here. So I wonder if that's now open, since that was the path it took to get here, right? Sort of. Even though they kind of fast-traveled us back to the, the wedding bit as soon as we rescued the dude. Oh, no, it is open now. Um, can I get up there? <laughs> hey, I like that. Um, does that really do anything? It just kind of puts us back down here. So imagine there's not much else to do there. Okay. All right, and then we gotta go back to the ice caverns. We could try to do the fragile egg bit again. We got the one thing, one petal fragment thing. Oh wait, wasn't there? Hold on a second. There was like spiky vines here too, right? Yeah. So I guess in well, okay, yeah, this is the forest area, so the spiky vines are around. Um. Because hmm. what was the 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 other hint to that? Uh, thorns weave walls, lone shrine stands, take a leap of faith for danger lands. Right. Um, it's sort of that, right? Damage boost really matters on those dudes because it's uh, three neck taps there, regardless, I think, huh? Those chumps go down in two now. our next objective here. I guess we can go back to town. Got lots of money. We can build a thing, right? We can build an, a little Omomori charm shop thing, right? And maybe that'll get us our last charm slot. I hope whatever we need for it, uh, we've already got. Okay. We've got the Kadama. 32 out of 34. Oh, damn. I didn't realize we had that many. Okay. Yeah, alright. So 30, 10, 2, and 5. Yep, that's enough. Hooray! Okay. we get for that. Oh, just a bunch of money. Thanks. <laughs> uh, it seemed to have grown a bit. Yeah, we grew like maybe a centimeter or two. Who knows? I remember being able to go on our honeymoon and what a time. Oh, it was a quick honeymoon. Um, it was good now. I've been able to relocate to the city. Gift. Yeah, I know. I already opened it. Um, you know, say hello. Just set up a shop that you might want to browse. Sure. Oh, you're just running the shop inside your home? That seems like a not a great place to put it, but hey, whatever. Uh, there's dangerous lands without supervision. Hey, Bo's got the best backing in town, alright? Um, is he seeing one piece? Have you been eating healthy? Yeah, sort of, I guess. 
And then you can open a shrine in the city and sell these things and make good use of them. Yeah, I want to see what you got. Hell yeah, give me another... Another slot. I think that's the last one. And then what, do you, what else do you have to have for sale there? Uh, as you reset your dash when starting a hover while it... It's pretty cool. Um, increases the damage dealt by your Dharma. Okay. Um, I was due to summon the Dharma for half the normal tea cost while boiling. Okay. Um, increases basic attack damage according to the amount of Fox Slim you have. Okay, so more money. More money, more damage, huh? Oh, man. That sounds fun. Give me. Alright, the others I won't buy just yet since, uh gonna be what 13 hundo and we've only got about nine hundo i gotta go back to the dharma shop anyways oh uh, does that go back out or does that go further in oh yeah it's like the back of the oh that's a shortcut to the forest that's fun okay Alright, and then, uh, so we're only missing... I'm missing two of the Kadama. Do folks say different things now that we're back in town for like the fifth time? And somewhere underground. Oh yeah, I guess that's true, huh? Perhaps the Tengu Caverns to the west or the Foxboroughs in the east? Actually, both places. This one looks new. Uh, more confidently now than our first- oh. No, that's not new. Train to win a sumo tournament. <laughs> okay, okay, good luck. Uh, sure. Good luck with that, I guess. And let's pet this doggo, too. Aww. <laughs> Uh, the trailer on Strange Garden, the Fox Browns, blah, 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 in the city, don't want to leave. I get that, I guess. Alright, the, the, li the library. Uh, is there anything new in the library? More to these archives than meets the eye. They made it part of their agenda to hide certain scrolls from the eyes of everyday folk. There's some against that, and not in the business of spreading knowledge. I'm in the business of spreading knowledge, not shrouding it. Hell yeah. The floor is a forbidden archives where the scrolls are kept, but the entrance has been boarded up by those that wish to blah blah blah. Certain someone were to find a way to remove the wooden boards outside that block, the entrance. Yeah. Might be able to do- oh, hell yeah. Okay. Well, let's see um, if we've got the materials and such to do that now. Uh, terrible fate, and Adiana. So, so we're able to flee the city. Uh, so our heart is rebuild. Okay, okay, right, right, right. Excellent, because I was looking for how to get the other things built. <laughs> there we go. Okay. We've got two, two things ready to be built now. Let's see what we can afford. Uh, well, that one's nice and cheap. Probably because we were supposed to do that a lot earlier. Uh, ooh. We would need more whatever that is. The the shiny shard things. Um, which one's more... Okay, this one's kind of later in the game, I guess, because it needs 20 Kodama. So let's do that one first. I'll need to find more of the, like, the crystal rose petals or whatever the heck that one was, right? Because it's probably better for the, these dudes to have a home now, again, instead of, uh... Uh... Searching the library for forbidden knowledge. At least for now. Alright, right, the icy wind, floating, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we know, we know about that. 
Hey, more money. Great. Only like 50 bucks. <laughs> I uh, rebuilt it all in its former glory, yada yada yada, uh, get back to that, get engage, get new training, okay, they're, they're gonna give us something more for doing this. Shouldn't be that hard, right? Oh, oh, sorry, this is different rules than the previous one. Um, blah blah blah, rules are simple, break all the targets in the arena, once you break your first target, the starting platform will disappear, at that point I must remain airborne, break all the targets. Okay. Um, total of five target setups. The next one will begin when you've cleared out all the targets of the setup on the fourth. And fourth, once you begin, you cannot touch the four. Okay, yeah, we kind of figured that. Break the targets! It's probably time as well. Oh, I didn't even see the, the the middle bit. I didn't think that was part of the foreground. <laughs> I see. All right, let's try that again. I oh, I can't cling to the walls. Okay, no wall climbing, no cheating, no fun. I should have waited on that one. Oopsie doopsie. Or do the top one first. Okay, this one I didn't see the, the middle bit. Uh, oh crap. Okay. Well, since I've got time, let's plan this out a bit more. <laughs> Okay, so clearly they want me to probably uh, climb up this side first, yeah? Well, that's not gonna do it. Ah! Alright, we can try that later, it's fine. Need to remember to come back. Alright, and then we need more of the, the Lum Petal. Dory Forest. Okay. But, we've got money, and the Dharma Shop is here still, right? It's over... Uh... Where is it, actually? There's the Archives. The thing we can't afford to rebuild, right? There's the shop. Okay, good. Alright, got one ink thing. We bought out all the rest, so. Um. Well, oh, it's the only one we got, huh? Okay, yeah, sure. 100 bucks. Cheap enough. I think we're only missing one, right? I don't know where that one is. It must be uh, something we get on the overworld somewhere. Everything else has got double eye action going on. Uh, yeah, like a bomb. I think we're just missing one lotus petal, too, for the last health upgrade. Uh... 
And then the last uh, fragment for the infinite tea kettle as well. What's that other bit up there on the left? Beneath the forest in the mountains, Titan stir. I, I bet that's like the the gentle hint to push you in the right direction. You forget where you're going. Which we haven't needed to really care about that yet. All right, it's this bit. Oh, is one of the, the tree things. Okay. Uh, so much stronger. Yeah, I think you might need someone like you to help you to keep the city safe. Yeah, well, we're almost there, right? Okay, um, we need more crystal petal stuff, right? Uh, so that's... Oh, that's in the forest, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Um, well. Let's head on over there the traditional way. Can we go in there yet? No. No. Not interested in letting me in just yet. You just have this, which I don't have the lotus petal for, but I have got the other stuff. I don't think you're turning on the smallest side. You should be taking seriously. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, write some music about me. Why not? But make it good, though. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Forest has seen better days. Well, that's no good. Okay. Well, the outward forest has seen better days. Looks like the, the hidden bit that we are somehow able to access is just fine. Alright, let me is this warm darkness. <laughs> Flower color. Alright, is the. Is our. Yeah, where is our. Sort of enemy? Asahi, right? Where'd he go? Also, I think there was something else up here, right? We couldn't. Either couldn't do or couldn't get to. Wow. Let's go down like a chump now that we've, like, super powered. We've got just extra base damage and then extra... Oops, I should have maybe saved one of those. Extra base damage. Uh, extra damage based on uh, the amount of money we got. And I think there was one other damage booster, right? Oh yeah, and then extra damage when we've got full health. So we are uh, we're pouring out the damage. That's why these uh, chumpos go down too. looking for more of these things, right? The the white glowy crystal mum petal things. Maybe there's a a shaky floor or two we can smash through now.
And maybe we'll get lucky and find the other two Kodama right away. That'd be something. Okay, then that leads up and to the left, or the right, which is where the fast travel bit is. Let's scour this area while we're here. Clearly this area was set up for when we didn't have all the fancy movement tech, right? Just the the dash and that's about it, probably. Oop. Right, yeah. to beyond that. Okay. Go around the other way, then. Well, this looks kind of suspect, doesn't it? Aha! Yeah, that does look suspect. <laughs> Alright, that's the last of the, um, the infinite tea kettle things. Wait, what? A lone shrine stands? Where they where the thorns weave walls? Okay, yeah, there's a lot of thorn walls here. Okay, yeah, this tracks. That tracks with the um, with the hints and shit. Okay. So now what? I think we have to go back to the um, the other tea house, the mountain tea house. Okay. Yeah, shit. I wasn't even thinking about that, but I saw the. Uh, saw like the very curious vine bits in this little tiny corner and it's like, oh okay, well that looks a little suspicious, doesn't it? Oh, and hey, look, there's some more uh, more crystal rose mum petal, petal things. Okay, so now we got enough to build the other thing so we can head back to town to get that done. Oh, careful there. Yeah. Oh, that looks suspicious as hell. Is there anything over there? Ah, oh, no. Boo. Ah, back up here. Okay. Great. Perfect. We'll head back out of the forest, back to town. Then we'll probably fast travel on over to... Back to the mountain. We can turn in our infinite tea kettle fragments and... Get the infinite tea kettle, I guess. that means what its namesake is, that'll be very helpful. Not that we've needed it terribly for healing, but it would be nice to have for uh, having a bunch of dharmas to use, that's for sure. Oh, it's not here. Oh, it's over there, right, yeah. Filthy bits. There's one more, right? One more that we don't know about. 
Maybe we find wherever the building shell is for it. Let's see if there's somebody just kind of hanging out there being like, Oh, I wish the city would build blah blah blah. And we'll be like, yeah. Let's make it happen. <laughs> okay, so more... Probably more lore bits, right? Scroll of the Usagi. Hey, that's kind of us, right? We help the Usagi clan get back together, right? That's the Sakura City. Across the perilous waters lies a forest full of crimson bamboo. And the full moon hangs heavy in the sky. Hell yeah. That's where we were born. Uh, dwells in peaceful harmony with nature. Residing in primitive bamboo huts crafted from leaves of the local flora. Taihana of the Usagi clan. Hey, hi, us. Uh, born from the blessings of the moon kami, Tsukuyomi. And exclusively possess the faunal of Affinity of the rabbit. Oh, we're a rabbit, not a fox. We look kind of like a little tiny fox, though, too. Uh, one of the Sagi clan are unique in the sense that they are able to survive with far less sunlight than others. Is a special perk that allows them to survive by the light of the moon exclusively. Some are even known to burrow below underground for weeks at a time. The angel tales speak once in an age when the celestial balance grows turbulent. A new warrior, a new warrior shall arise. It's Tantayana, gifted with the affinity of the fox. Ah. That's why we look like a fox, because we are a fox affinity to Tahana, apparently. Uh, shall bear no ill will in its heart, yet it shall be burdened with a heavy responsibility to restore equilibrium to a troubled land. Oh. Strong protagonist energy. Alright. Sign of this record. Traveling merchants who have recently journeyed to the forest of the Crimson Bamboo to the west have brought word of devastating news. The villages of the Sagi clan, long stood as peaceful outposts, have been reduced to ash and ruin. Local inhabitants, it seems, have evacuated in the face of this catastrophe. Yeah, we already kind of took care of that, right? So we clearly should have unlocked this uh, this bit a long time ago. Uh, we're on a central bridge, which has served as the sole means of traversing the waters and accessing the forest prince of bamboo, destroyed apparently by some manner of natural disaster. Through the path to the bamboo forest of the east is currently, although the path uh, to the bamboo forest of the east is currently uncertain, one must assume that the means of traversing the distance yet remains. Yeah, we did that. Alright, how about the Sakura? Uh, this is the cherry blossom is a flower of great symbolic significance within Sakura City. Gee, you don't say. Uh, it is delicate and ephemeral flowers that dance on the wind currents in the city have come to represent the impermanence of life. Reminder of the fleeting nature of all things. Oh. That's right, I guess you can't really appreciate something until it's uh, ephemeral and gone and stuff like that, right? A beauty of the sun is both breathtaking and transient, as the blossoms bloom for only a brief moment in the memory before drifting to the earth. Permanence, however, certainly serves to make the sacra all the more precious. The beauty of the sacra serves as a reminder to every being to cherish every moment, to appreciate the beauty of the world around us while it struggles to persist. Oh boy, that hits a little different, doesn't it? Uh, each petal is a reminder to live in the present, for the future is uncertain, and the past is banished. The is a symbol of the importance of cherishing the here and now, for it is all that truly exists. Oh boy. Uh, various varieties of Denihana, those that bloom forth from the Sakura Blossom, are widely acknowledged as the most beautiful. It's for this reason that many a traveler flocked to Sakura City in hopes of catching a glimpse of one, though at times crowds of Sakura to Denihana. Various the streets of the city, their lives, though brilliant, are also fleeting. They're known to have the shortest lifespan of any variety. Aww. Uh, for as long as recorded history extends, the rulers of Sakura City, known as the Sakura Shogun, have always been of the Sakura Denihana variety. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Owing to their brief lifespans, the authority must be passed on to a successor swiftly upon the onset of wilting. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm getting vibes that we're going to be conscripted as the next uh, next Shogun, huh? Yeah, the current Sakura Shogun, widely known for being the longest reigning in history, has managed to prolong his life far beyond what is feasible for the Sakura Tentaihana. Oh, no. Oh, we're going to have to fight our own, I think. Oh, this is turning dark now. Uh, the reason for this mysterious ability remains unknown, and most dare not even speculate. Oh, which is why this scroll is fucking hidden away, isn't it? Great. Awesome. Uh, the Shogun, though feared by many, is a private individual and rarely leaves the confines of his castle. So probably dead. Or corrupt or evil or something. You know, one of those three. Take your pick. I mean, he does venture out, he trails in the pink palanquin, carried by his, uh, Akonami's servants. Majority of his time is spent in the castle where he said to tinker with mysterious technology guarded by his loyal soccer samurai. Oh, no. There is some evil shit going on. Probably responsible for Stompy Skeleton, bro. That's destroying the world. Gotta be it. There's always gotta be, like, some scientific or spiritual hubris going on. 
that's what's happening here, I bet. Mark my words. Celestial conduits, sure. What's up with the celestial conduits? Land of Strange Garden, there exists two sacred places of great renown. I think you're missing a K in there. Actually, no, I think I've seen it spelled both with the K and without. Um, these places known as the known to the learned as the sites of the celestial conduits are situated uh, at the summit of Megami Mountain and within the ancient tree deep within Midori Forest. Conduits visible as beam of energy that reach into heavens, into the heavens, are easily viewed from afar, but have been proven proved to be nigh impossible to reach. Their exact purpose or function is shrouded in mystery, but legend has it that if a being stands before it, aha, uh -huh, probably us. That being will be whisked away to another realm. Postscript. Uh, it is said that the on only those deemed worthy by the gods are able to harness the power of these conduits in any meaningful way. However, in recent times, it appears that those who rule over Sakura City, oh no, the evil, corrupt rulers, uh, have devised a way to create an artificial conduit. This conduit's beam, rather than flowing upwards into the heavens, seems to draw energy from the celestial realm into the Sorin, the Sorin, at the top of the city's castle. Uh-oh. Uh oh, oh no! More bad stuff is afoot here. Uh, since the creation of this artificial conduit, the sun has strangely never set in Sacra City. Goody. Uh, the many citizens praise it as protection against evil. Mm -hmm. Traditionalists believe that such manipulation of celestial energy energy is a grave affront to the kami, and that the artificial conduit's very existence disturbs the natural order. God, I hate to side with the traditionalists, but I think they're right. <laughs> I think they're right in this case. Oh, there's so much hidden lore. Oh, hey, the other ink. Great. And some more money. Okay. So much lore to be had here. All right, the Scroll of Darkness. Oh, hey, look, Skelebro is on this one. Excellent. Uh, recently, a fearsome Skeleman bro, the Gashado Kuro, has been spotted in the outskirts of Strange Garden. This gargantuan specter, an amalgam of countless skeletal remains. Countless skeletal remains. I bet you could count them. Uh, emanates an ominous aura, striking fear in the hearts of those who have been unfortunate enough to catch a glimpse of it. As it roams the peripheral shadows, it slowly grows in size. Ugh, gross. Uh, a chilling testament to the growing darkness of the developing inner realm. While the Skeleton Bro's origins are shrouded in mystery, its appearance ominously followed the construction of the castle's artificial celestial conduit. Fucking called it. Hard read. Uh, a work of the Sakura Shogun and Azahi, his new apprentice. Oh no, I knew there was something wrong with that guy. Ah, oh, he was kind of a dick to us, like, right away. Which, like, it was already, like, kind of side-eye. We did save his life, though, so maybe this is, like, a redemption arc now. Mm. Some speculate a link, yet the truth remains elusive. There's a link. Uh, born of unresolvable anguish, the Skeleton Bro serves as a grotesque symbol of the dire consequences of the Shogun's rule and the mysterious experiments he conducts in the city's castle. Mm. Boy. You know, when you're right, you're right. And I hate being right. Uh, this skeletal behemoth forged in raw hatred seems indestructible. However, the power of light... <laughs> the power of light and love may present a potential counterforce. Of course, okay. Yeah, standard light versus darkness, blah blah blah. All right. While it poses no immediate threat, its presence is an ominous warning. Celestial conduit's light keeps the, the Skeleton Bro at bay, for now. Yet as it thrives in darkness, should its hatred grow, the safety of the city may hang in the balance. The potential threat underscores the urgency for love and light to prevail. Okay. All right. Yeah, all right. It follows a very familiar arc, doesn't it? Um, scroll of the Path... Scroll of Path of the Teal Lotus, a prophecy. Oh, good. Hitting all the tropes here. In realms of new where spirits dwell, the monkey's greed shall toll the bell. With wolf at the side, the key shall turn, and from above, the kami spurn. The shards of fire of vermilion glow, they seize the sun's celestial throne, yet as they reach to grasp the sky, their arrogance shall draw the ire. Okay, they're playing a little bit with the rhyming here, which is fine, which is fine. Um, from malice thick and deeds most foul, awakes a fiend, a midnight skull. Probably Skeleton bro, right? The beast of bone the wolf will tend to bring about false daylight's end. Yet in a land where bamboo sway, a lotus teal shall find its way. That's us. Uh, the world shall heal, the scales set right, restoring balance, ending night. 
The sun shall rise, your throne regained, and unnatural order be unchained. Thus speaks the scroll in prescient script, a teal lotus path forever lit. Aw. That's great. <laughs> Walking into the Costco and seeing a giant shadow home in the rafters. No, I think I'm good. I'll come back tomorrow. That's pretty good. Oh, see, look, the prophecy was uh, generated by presumably a non-evil Sakura Shogun, right? Sakura no Mikoto, the 23rd Sakura Shogun. Okay. Well, well that's lore. That's lore for you. Oh, there's, uh, there's another one over here. What's this? That looks spooky. The Scroll of Light in the deepest darkness of the library here. All right, what do we got? Oh, yeah, the... It's Sun Kami, I know about that from Okami. Yeah, all right. Amaterasu, the grand Sun Kami, is the ruler of the celestial realm and bringer of light and warmth to our world. She is revered as the goddess of the sun, agriculture and prosperity, and it is said that her blessings bring bountiful harvests and good fortune. Yeah, that's, that's recognizable and familiar. Amaterasu is known for her strong sense of justice and her desire to protect her people from harm. All right. Seen as a protector of the land and its inhabitants and is often invoked in times of war or natural disaster. By the way, go play Okami. It's a great game. PS2 era, also had a port to the Switch, and probably exists on PC in some form or another, I imagine. Uh, Madarasu is also deeply connected to the Imperial Regalia of Strange Garden. Comprises of three sacred treasures that are said to be given to the worthy of ru to worthy rulers by the Sunkami herself. His treasures are the mirror, the sword, and the jewel. And they are said to embody Amaterasu's power and authority. Mirror is said to represent wisdom. Reflect upon yourself, right? The sword represents valor, and the jewel represents benevolence. It is said that the emperor who possesses these treasures is the one who has been chosen by Amaterasu to rule the land, and that as long as these treasures remain in the leader's possession, Amaterasu will protect and guide this realm. Okay. Okay. Uh, mutterings of Amaterasu's disappearance have begun to spill across the land. Some people claim the Sakura Shogun, the Sakura Shogun is an artificial conduit is to blame. Well, yeah, that's probably a side effect of it, yeah? <clears throat> well, others seem to not notice and go about their lives as usual. Boy. Uh, basket of light provided by the conduit. She has indeed disappeared. Her whereabouts are a mystery, and the longer she is gone, the more the world's natural dance will tip to the side of chaos. Okay. Yeah, alright. We, we kind of called this, didn't we? Hey, look! A conspicuous path up to the right. Let's go up there. Oh, there's even more! My goodness, there's a lot of lore here. Uh, okay, hold on a sec. We're probably supposed to read this right to left. This is gonna be like ADE or something? Oh, okay. I figured it would be like the letters. Alright. Hall of Haiku Scroll. Alright, sure. Cloistered here under the hushed whispers of time reside verses from distant lands beyond this one. Mysterious in their melody, the verses may be expressed in tongues untouched by our land. Enshrined in ink, these are the echoes of 207 souls. That's a very specific number of souls. Bond by the love of the tales the kami weave. Each word a testament to their spirit, their dreams spun into existence through the elegance of haiku. I, you know what? I'm not much of a poetry guy, but haikus are rad as fuck. Do like haikus. Well, it's A to C. Okay, I guessed A to E, so it's off. Off a little bit. Ah, uh, I see. Okay. Um, you know, I'm gonna tab out for a bit and look something up. Hold, hold for a hot second here. Cause my, uh, my suspicion is... Was this a Kickstarter game, I wonder? Cause this would be... This would be like a pretty safe guess for, hey, you know, kickstart this for X amount and get a haiku in the game, right? Yep, hey, look at that. <laughs> Damn, I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed I missed it then. Ah. Uh, uh, soundtrack, PDF. Uh, access to beta builds. Yeah, here we go. There's one for writing a haiku and having it included in the game. Yep, that makes sense. That tracks. All right, so clearly we're not going to read these all then. But I am. I'm glad. I my my instinct was right here. Oh, that's that's super cool though. I love these very like unique and colorful ways to include 
Kickstarter backer stuff. This is great. This is great. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I just spotted one I want to read, though. Haikus are funny, but sometimes they don't make sense. Refrigerator. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Haikus are funny. Okay, five. But sometimes they don't make sense. Seven. Refrigerator. <laughs> That's great. I love it. I love the joke ones. The joke ones are great. Alright, so I imagine this is all... Yeah, okay. D to J. K to Q. R to Z. Ah, oh, that's so fun. Ah, I'm so disappointed I missed this then. Because I totally would have gone in for that. Ah, it's, it's snowing on my OG. Ah, sick Game Grumps reference. Uh, Alright, that's cool. That's cool. I, I love it. I love that so much. Alright, well that's enough fucking around. Um, what were we supposed to do? Right, okay, infinite tea kettle. That's where we're headed, right? So let's fast travel to the mountain. Oh, they even give you this thing to get up there. Right, I think we... We cheated it last time to get the Kadama that was up there. Is that even a, a five, though? It's snowing on Mount Fuji. No, well, it could work as the seven, right? Yeah, it could work as the seven. But I guess it's, it's not a strict form, right? It could be five, seven, seven. Are haikus sometimes five, seven, seven? I don't know. See, like, I'm not a, I'm not a literature buff, so I don't, I don't know the, like, the, the canonical, like, the canonical form is 575, but, like, are there extended forms that do 577 or something like that? Alright, uh, the mountain, right? <clears throat> like, anything else, like, the creative literature and such is just, like, yeah, it, it's, it's neat. I respect that it exists. I'm definitely not into it. <laughs> definitely not at all. Um, literature classes in like high school and college were definitely some of my least. Um, all right, we want the the tea shop. Oh, it's over there. Okay. Oh, we just got a little distance to go. I imagine this will cost like a cursory hundred bucks to to make happen. There's seven hundred worth over here. So how many are we missing? Not too many, I'd imagine, right? Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Well, it's still missing a sizable amount. Oh, we've got another. I get a slot that I didn't fill up. All right. Uh. On a basic knockback? I, do I want that? I guess it wouldn't hurt, right? Oh, I need to be on a shrine, yeah. Uh, uh, I am on a shrine. Oh, I have to be sitting down. Sorry. My goodness. Ah, there we go. Alright, so that's all that filled out. Okay, I found all the fragments. Give me the, the end game stuff now. And all far near each other, they pulse with the disarming ancient energy. It's been so long since they've been together. Restore the infinite kettle. Require both of our focus. It doesn't need to be physically restored. It needs to be spiritually mended. Oh boy, that I'm probably not the one for this. But hey, you know what? Whatever. Uh, think of unity and wholeness. Envision the kettle as it once was. Alright, I'm envisioning the... the default like teapot for what was it 3ds max i think the 3d software uses a teapot as a default object and it looks a little bit like that yeah all right hell yeah give me that what does that do um has the ability to brew endless tea when one prays with focused intent at a shrine 
missing health holder, the ground and CPT. Immobilizing your health through restored at a slow rate, blah 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 blah. Builds to well, isn't by definition if it's infinite it it's already full? I thought it was full already. It fills to full when sitting at shrines. Okay. That's that's cool and all. Shouldn't it like have already been full? Ow. Oh. Symbol of unity and perseverance. Okay, that tracks. Uh, you can come to life in the hands of someone determined to use it wisely. Maybe it serve you well. Well, I hope so. A little confused about its description. Like, I figured it would give us essentially infinite healing. Okay, so now it's kind of glowy and shit. But I guess we'll need to try that out in battle or whatever. Uh, okay, we've got 900 buckets. We may as well just clean out the shop here while we're on the mountain. Reach the boiling state faster. Okay, it's not bad. And then abundance. Tea kettle to hold slightly more tea. Okay, that probably gets us to the mythical 20. Just out of curiosity. Uh, that one looked like this. Oh, I see. So this refills tea... Oh, 22, nice. Um, at shrines. It's not infinite, it just refills it while you're at a shrine. Well, that's kind of a letdown, but honestly, it, it's not that bad. <laughs> Wanted a bit better of a reward for chasing around the world for those four things. But alright, so everything's all sold out there. Uh, and then the fast travel bit is on the left again. Yeah. Alright. Let's take three hits now instead of like six or seven. Oh, so I'm gonna go up over here. the gap. No. Alright. Uh, well, we're supposed to be over here anyways, right? To turn in the uh, thing at the ice caverns? Okay. Oh, but there was also one more build-a-bit thing that we could do. Well, that we need to discover first before we can do, right? I'm curious what that's going to be and where it's going to be. Let's scour the city one more time before we return to the critical path. Um, well... I'm guessing it's probably either down here, because there's a conspicuous space there, or it's going to be in the gap uh, here. Alright, yeah, training at the Sumo Tournament. Oh, there's also... For this? Deal with this one. Uh, sure, yeah, give me whatever. Oh, this is the, like, yeah, come back from death. Health restored to half, okay. Well, we're running a little short on buckos here, so we'll, we'll say no thanks to that for now. But what do you got here? Sets your jump and dash after taking damage. Uh, if your kettle is full, some of the steel pass and fan around you every time you expend a jump reset, providing damage and knockback. Oh, kind of neat. 450 there, though. Alright, I don't have enough of that. Alright, so that was the... The foxes, right? Other bit would have been over here. Oh, there's not more to the city that way. Okay. Let's 
stance to reason should talk to everybody again. And pet the doggo, of course, right? Never not pet doggo. Uh, something a bit off here the sound of bells ringing in my ears. Oh, hey, that matches one of the lore bits we just read, doesn't it? Okay, we did the Extendo Library thing. Um, I think this is the Fox House, right? Uh, oh, maybe there's one on, like, the lowest tier of the city, right? Or this is just literally the city gates, too. Okay. Okay, well, there's one more build-a-bit thing around here somewhere. Probably pretty obvious, like it's got the little shell of a house or something. So here's the dump, alright. Uh, yeah, what, what do you got available? Ooh, question marks, alright. There's the fast travel thing that we built. There's no more space on this side. Or just on the way right. That shortcuts. Where does that shortcut over to? Oh, kind of. Well, kind of the mid bit between the burrows and the forest. Dharma house. Which, we have the last ink bit, we just need to find the last arm somewhere. Since we're here, let's pop into the forge real quick. Doubt there's anything for us here. Final form, blah blah blah, use it wisely, yup. Uh, time the spider gear, the crystal, uh huh. Yeah, and that shortcuts us over to the forest. Okay. This is already something we had upgraded through a, a building bit, right? Okay, a further there. I guess the only would be the tea house, right? Yeah, but we can't do that because we need a lotus seed and a bit more money. Lotus seed is probably along the critical path. They've been pretty good at uh, keeping those to boss fights and stuff. Not really anything hidden. Yeah, blah blah blah. Don't don't bother our clearly evil boss now, right? Kinda saw that coming, didn't we? And then that goes off to the mountains. Okay. Well I didn't see any like little empty building shell things. So hmm wondering what the last one's gonna be. Alright, biggie. Alright, let's head back to the ice caverns then. That'll be critical path. Give him the Kitsune Kifuda, right? Uh, would it be east or west? I guess we can start at east because we can try the fragile egg thing again, yeah? Now that we I mean, we understood what the what the deal was regardless, right? But now that we've got all of the movement bits... Might be able to do this more effectively. Alright, yeah, give me a, a free egg, please. Okay, and then we need to take this all the way over there. No problem. And I think it's that it can, we can't get hit at all, right? That's the deal. Ah, yeah. Okay. Oh, right. <laughs> Excuse me. 
Pardon me. I wish that popped you back to the to the thing while you were carrying it though. Oh. Actually wait, I can't can I just death warp back there maybe then? That was the I did save there, right? Nope, did anyways. Alright, we'll try it one more time, and if I don't do it this time, that's fine. Leave it for a later day. Alright, I totally didn't break that other egg, but can I have another one just for funsies? Thank you. Short trip that. in the upgraded attacky bits is uh, pretty good. <laughs> Don't have to worry about nothing else, really. Oh, well, that was fucking stupid. <laughs> I got scared, so I floated back to the right. Ah, uh, okay. Forget it, then. Alright, we'll try that again some other time. <laughs> I get back to the fast travel bit a bit quicker here. Since we can't fast travel anyways, right? That was the whole deal. Very strong, uh, bigger on sword vibes from OOT there. Okay, um, do 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 do. Probably the other ice caverns. Let's travel them. Cause now we need to head down. Well, already down here. I think it's just go in here, right? They're like, hey, we found the uh, Katsune Kifuda. What's next? Yep, we've got it. More more is unmistakable, even from a distance. Yeah, the fucking quarter meter I am standing from you presently. Quite a distance. Uh, and express the death of my gratitude for your courage and resilience. Uh, it could be the key to turn the tides in our favor against Skelliman, bro. Uh, your question is not a simple one, and success brings, brings us a gleam of hope. Stand on the precipice of a great battle, and there's no time to perch idly on our talents. Uh, bird puns. Um... Discuss the return of the alarming news they sighted the Skeleton Bro on the outskirts of Sakura City. Its rage and malice grow stronger with each passing moment, a testament to impending destructive power. Oh, is this the, uh, 
the standard, hey, you might not be able to come back after this point. Are you sure you've done everything that you want to do? Um, safeguarded by personal daylight. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And it won't be long before the beast gathers enough strength to breach you in these defenses. Uh-huh. Act swiftly. Uh, return to Sacra City. It's just there. Uh, try to meet you there as soon as possible. For now we stay here and prepare. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, cool. Quest turned in. Alright, so then go back to the city. Got it. Great. Couldn't have met me there, huh? Alright. Well, nope, just in case. So we'll save there, not that it matters now. Oops, that's too right. <clears throat> Alright, we'll see if this leads to an entire additional area, if there's, or if this is literally endgame. Oh shit, everything's dark now. Oh no! <laughs> da crap! Oh, and there's enemies here too now! Oh, that's the, that's the, that's a bad sign. Ah, uh, I hate being right. <laughs> da crap! Let me guess, we head to the, I'm guessing we head to the palace at this point, right? Hey, it's probably a good way to rack up money. Oh yeah, li yeah, the, the fucking guards are the first ones to be like, Oh, we're too, we're too fucking scared to do our jobs. Yeah, alright. Um, you see the castle, the skeleton bro came out of nowhere and fucking took the top right off. Oh, really? I can't see it beyond the dialogue box. Uh, it says celestial conduit shattered into a million pieces, no longer protected by its light. It's a killer full moon, though. I take back everything I said about this job being boring. See? Don't you want boredom? Like, boredom's great! You can do whatever the fuck you want when you're bored. Um, I don't know, all we had to do is look imposing and harass random people. <laughs> okay, okay. Thanks. Great 1312 there. Um, let's go down and pray to Sonny's statue to come protect us from Skelliman, bro. I ain't going down there. <laughs> I we go because, you know, technically we're not allowed to leave our post. Yeah, shit asses. <laughs> Fucking shit asses here. Very convenient technicality, but it must be respected. Yeah, okay, sure. Uh-huh. <sighs> Yet again. Yet again. Do the job of the fucking guards. Alright, fine. Let's go. Uh, I mean, even like the presumably end game spooky haunting things are, are supposed to be stronger, but we're so beefed up that they go down in three, anyways. Alright, yeah. Uh, oh, the little, little doggo is even there. Be like, hey, come on. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, doggo. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, that's kind of a big bummer. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's no good. Oh, that's real super not good. Oh wow, Skeleton Bro looks evil as fuck. Oh, da crap. Oh, it's, uh, Ko, right? Yeah, alright. Uh, I shoot a... Uh, Skeleton bro! This malice even makes even my weathered feathers stand on edge. Not have expected to have grown this strong already. It, you could have. Uh, but again, it's because it could. As we're caught off guard as well, and are still on their way. I fear they may not make it in time. Yeah, well, clearly it's up to the protagonist to deal with this, right? Let's act quickly. You know, let's read the winds of destiny upwards swiftly towards the skull of the beast. Explain what needs to be done along the way. I... Do you need to, though? Like, just beat the shit out of it, right? That's what I'm thinking we do. Oh, okay, well, I was expecting, like, a little navigation puzzle, but, you know, just going straight up there is fine, too. Ah, no, there's a navigation puzzle, okay. Got it. Ah, oh, crap, go! Ah! Ah, <laughs> oh, duh, crap. 
Oh, no. I mean, I don't really have any personal connection to you or anything, but oh, this is bad. Uh, proven yourself, blah, 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 times any of strength to endure. Carrying a whole very little wisdom curse with skeleton bro, its source of power is a hatred seeding within the skull. Yeah, I mean, clearly. Find a way into its skull. It's got a weak point at the top of its skull. Okay, break through with the rabbit's mat. Oh, okay. Yeah, the whole ground pound thing will do it. Um, it's in the within. I'm going to hope the quell seeing a calm storm rage. Ah, balls! Ah. Well, all of our... Ah, skeleton bro, oh no. Okay, so all of our movement tech, all of everything is going to be called into action here, I imagine. Yeah, look at that. Oh, I see, yeah. Oh, ooh, that's not a that's not a wall over there. Hmm. Oh, I see. We have to go over to the left. Oh, oh, and it's a hook shot bit there. Okay, I get it. Ah, but those things don't restore our jump. I see. Maybe to go like. Whoop. Okay, but only if we down smash, that's the deal. Oh, ow, okay. Did it up? Oh, not like that. Oh, we still could have hook shot it back up there, though. Yeah, great. You know what? We're gonna do this three times, I bet. Because of course we are. Gotta respect the <clears throat> the cardinal rule of Vigi games. Do things three times to to prove your worth. Oh, I like this. The music's great, though. Oh, well, this is good shit. Triumphant, like final battle stuff here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're back to here. Oh, now we got enemies to deal with too, huh? Excuse me. Oh, we're not putting out top damage though, because we're not at full health. Whoa! Whoa! Ow! Hey, shitter! It's uh, arranged a bit differently. Ah, oh, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah. Ooh, careful. Ah, uh, shit. I can't turn off my take double damage bits. <laughs> Uh, this might be a problem, then. Oh, 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 yeah, I didn't see that there. Okay, so does that pop me back to having to do this uh, an additional time, then? Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, well. That's all right. Just gotta summon all of our platforming skill. <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> oh, well, oh, I didn't have my double jump back there. Oh, ow. Hi. Yeah, that 
once we get up here, then let's just ride the winds. Bonk. Oh, he spawned a thing before he died. That did like four damage. Oh, you little shit. Oh, crap. Okay, this might actually be difficult. <laughs> uh, all right, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. We can do this. Eat the panic swings there. Oh, easy. Ah, damn. Okay. Hi there. Oh, okay. All right. Take a squat there. All right, there we go. All right, two. I'm sure there's a third one. There's got to be a third one. Always, never, not a third one. <laughs> oh, there you are. Okay. Okay, just get out of Oko range, really. Alright. Presumably the final bit here. Good job, you got me on that one. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. Alright, fine. Pull him down. Presumably he won't respawn then to harass me when I'm back up there. <laughs> uh, all right. Ow! Oh, let's see. Oh, okay. It's fine. Uh, oh no. Oh, okay. There you go. Ah, beautiful. All right. Fuck it. Go, go, buddy. 
bonk! <laughs> Alright. Okay, clearly that's not it. That's not gonna be it, but maybe this takes, uh... <clears throat> Skeleton bro out of the action here, right? Then we'll have at least one more boss battle. Probably. I know how these things go. Because this might restore the city, right? And then to get us back to like, oh yeah, you want to go in uh, the palace? Sure, you can go in the palace now. Oh, hey, cool. Yeah. Uh, intuition. Uh, as long as you see the collectibles on your map. Yes, alright, good. Cool, I mean, we found a great number of them. Um, just going through the game, but I love having the ability to see which bits we've missed. Oh, nice, cool. Oh, we can get a statue of ourselves! That's fucking great! Okay, well, we've got the money, and we've got the, the, build, the buildable bits, right? We're just missing two Kadamas. Damn! <laughs> well, that I might, uh... I might do the side bit for that, because that sounds rad as fuck. Um... Okay, we need to equip the thing. Right? In order to see it. So, I don't, I don't really need the knockback. Uh, here. Oh! Oh, there's a, a lotus seed. Oh, there's a seed. Oh, it's a secret. They're just... They're... They're shown as generic secrets. Ah, I see. Okay. Oh, there's quite a few of them, actually. Okay. Well, I like being shown the general area of them. That's nice. Oh, we're pretty... Pretty well scoured out the forest. Oh, except for one there. Okay. Oh, there's some stuff up there. Oh, that's probably another... It's probably an additional area. Because I very much doubt we'll be able to get there from the mountain. That's probably uh, up in the palace itself. Okay. Well, uh, I want the two Kodama. <laughs> I just want to build the, the statue to ourselves so we can feel good about ourselves here. Um, so I am really curious then. Castle, darkness, pink, yellow, yeah, 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 whatever. Um, oh, right, because we gotta find the last Dharma as well. Okay, so, city's, like, back and whatever. Uh, which is good. Everybody's being like, yeah, don't, don't go to the palace now, it's all scary and whatever. It's like, no, I'm gonna go to the palace now. Kick the shit out of the corrupt ass shogun. Oh yeah, the, the the secret here is doing the doing the sumo bits. All right, no, I don't want to do that right now. Cause I doubt it's one of the last kadama. So let's see. Let's go area by area. Then we did everything in the forest of crimson bamboo, presumably. Like there's three bits in the ice caverns. I mean, on top of the fragile egg thing, right? That's probably the most likely place where the Kadama are. Cause I don't think we've been very thorough there, or the mountain too. All right. So I think either. Their place we go. The ice caverns. It's gonna lead to something with it that we want. Yeah, there's one like kinda half half seas up the way there. There's one over there. And then there's one over there. Alright, so let's do I guess that's the east ice caverns one. Uh then head up. Do the one that taxis up, go the rest of the way, and then drop back down and do the two that are left and right there. Uh, 
imagine one of these bits is gonna be uh, another lotus seed as well. Okay, so just pretty much gotta follow the path up until we get to the next big-ish bit here. or so buckos. Ah, that's probably a destroy it with the ground pound. Can I do that from below, maybe? Ah, nuts. That would have been fun if we could have caught the hitbox just very briefly there. Oh, whoa, careful. My goodness. being there the first time, but I guess that uh, was the thing. Might actually be one of the oh, yeah, nice. All right, perfect. More of those to find. Ow. Oh well. <laughs> Surely the second time was going to be better than the first, yeah. yeah. Oh! Ah. I caught a different one. Oh, no, no, no! Ah! still caught me. Boo. Okay, I think it really doesn't matter, right? I can just fast travel back to the other one and get down there. Yeah. not unreasonable distance over here. these uh, fall down. Oh yeah, yeah let's see it right up there. Ha! Oh, it's more uh, craftable bits. Okay, I guess that tracks. We should expect to find a few more of those, too.
Oh, whoops, right. Don't, uh, don't bop off of those like that. Hoping this last one is the last Kadama so we can get the statue built here. Oh, it's over here. Oh yeah, like that. Eh? Eh? Hey, nice. Okay, great. We can get that built and that'll probably do it for tonight. We can do that. <clears throat> we can do the rest of the cleanup and an end game on Wednesday. build a bit. I imagine this won't do anything. Like, it won't give us extra power or health or, or whatever. I... Because my prediction now is this is going to build us in the place where the um, statue for Asahi was. I'm going to call that right now. Since that got crushed along with the doggo, which is unfortunate. <laughs> really unfortunate. Uh, yes, I would love to see this last bit that we were saving up for. Um, uh, blah, 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 blah. Yep, do it. Ah, look at that. I was right. Realms anew where spirits dwell, the monkey's greed shall toll the bell. With wolf at the side, the key shall turn, and from above, the kami spurn. Ah, oh, it's the... the from before. Shards of fire, vermilion glow. They seize the sun's celestial throne, yet as they reach the, to grasp the sky, their arrogance shall draw the ire. From mouths thick and deeds most foul awakes a fiend, a midnight skull, the beast of bone, the wolf will tend. Bring about false daylight's end, yet in a land where bamboo sway, a lotus teal shall find its way. The world shall heal, the skills set right, restoring balance and dignity. Sun shall rise, her throne regained, a natural order be unchained. Thus speaks the scroll in prescient script, the teal lotus path forever lifts. Sick ass statue, I love it. Okay. Great. Again. Perhaps probably not required at all, but uh pretty sick. I love it. Okay. So then that puts the whole find the remainder of the secrets. Uh quite literally on the map here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh nice one over there. Seven. All clear there. Seven. Yeah, seven bits. Seven bits to see yet. One of them is going to be a Dharma. One of them is going to be a Lotus Seed. Um, we might find also some additional Omamori. Might be like half of these, I'd imagine, because the others I need to buy in the shops yet. Yeah, how much money do we have left? Not much. Yeah, it cost a thousand to build this. Worth every every bucko though. Sick as hell. Uh okay. Well, we're definitely hitting endgame now, so let's hit I guess a save point, and then we'll resume this next time. Do the last of the cleanup and then the end game, right? Grab a quick save here. Oh, well, wow, man. Look at you. Look at you. Yeah. You're trying to be all fancy and hurt us there. Okay, so shit ain't safe outside the city wall. Oh, now it's calm and eerie. I like that. That's a that's a good like end game trope when shit suddenly gets serious. Like yeah, everything's all happy and cheerful throughout the entire game, and then suddenly, uh oh, oh no, now we gotta real get serious about this. Okay, so let me do this final save, and then we'll pick this up next time.
Okay, ending a little bit earlier tonight, but I, I don't want to, like, resume a whole course of things here and then have to quit out in the middle of it. So we'll leave the rest of this for next time, which will be Wednesday night, 7 p.m. CDT, uh, for what seems to be going to be the final go at Bow Path and Teal Lotus here. Thursday, 7.30 p.m. CDT, it'll be Shmup Book Club, so more um, Sprig and Powered. Or Universe is still going, or we could take our first kick at uh, Devil Blade Reboot on Thursday. Friday, Saturday, we're off, and then Sunday, 7 p.m. CDT, will be long play. But we're done with uh, Talos Principle 2 for the moment, so it'll be something different. Haven't yet determined what that's going to be, but there's plenty on the list we can uh, pick up again and continue on playing for long play. So I'm looking forward to that. All right, that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.